Oh man, the world of pouches. I've yet to make a pouch video because there have just been an overwhelming amount of pouches in the EDC community. So if you are a pouch boy, let me know down below, down in the comments, right? Hashtag pouch boys. Because today we're talking about pouches. <laughs> My first introduction video to pouches. I haven't bought an EDC pouch in well over probably two years now. And there's one particular brand who is like crushing it right now. And that is Data Crew. So today we're talking about the Data Crew. What a slider. I got a couple of them in, you know, because I couldn't decide on what I wanted. And variety is the spice of life. So let's figure out if this is the number one pouch you should get. So let's kick it off with some specs. So we are looking at a 3.5 inch height, 4.5 inch length, and two inches of thickness. We've got a 500 denier, denier, not sure how to pronounce it, outer shell, nylon and nylon mesh on the interior. We got a YKK number five coated coil zipper, military nylon thread number 69, and this particular pouch is water resistant. So the water slider by Data Crew is definitely one of the most hyped up harder to get pouches and I can definitely see why. From the small amount of pouches that I've owned, this is definitely the one that feels the most premium. Having that little water resistant zipper on it, just the, the haptic feel of the material they use for the outside of the pouch, the loop, and on the interior, what I really enjoy about this is that you get enough depth where none of your gear is kind of touching and scratching and I know Hashtag use your shit, I get it. Oh my God, it's a scratch on my clip, on my knife, uh, whatever. For me, I don't want my shit to touch. Like I just, plain and simple. I just don't want my gear to touch and rub up on each other if it doesn't have to. I think that's weird. So for me, I like the fact that you got a little bit of depth in there to put everything comfortably. The nylon fabric that they use on the inside is nice and stretchy, so it fits different size knives. Um, the one thing I would keep in mind if you're considering buying this pouch is that of course it's on the smaller side, so it's not going to fit a full size knife. For me, something like this is meant to hold a secondary carry, so I have my main knife in my pocket. Something like this will have maybe a small fifth pocket style knife, or right now I'm in the world of slip joints, so it'll most likely carry a slip joint, a flashlight, a pen, probably a little multi-tool, and then a handkerchief. So keep in mind, this isn't meant to be a pouch where you're gonna keep a full, primary carry in my opinion, but everything does fit really well, which I enjoy. The two nylon pockets on the left side is normally where I would put my knife and my flashlight. And on the other side, you do have that little double loop pocket, so you can put some REs in there as well. On the outside of the pouch, you have this little zippered pocket, which I think is great. Um, you can put some credit cards in there, you can put some cash, you can put some spare change, receipts, whatever it is. I like having that outside pocket. I think it's super useful, especially if I'm just trying to put my credit cards in there and kind of double this as a wallet, which is what I normally do. If I carry a pouch, I don't wanna carry a wallet in my other pocket. I just wanna have a designated pouch that kind of covers everything that I need. So this is a great touch data crew. Really love that outside pocket. Now let's talk about the loop where you put all your REs on. Plenty of room to put some of your favorite REs. I normally like to load up just a few of my favorites. I'm not an, an RE boy, okay? I'm, I'm definitely getting into pouch boy, but I'm not an RE boy. I don't have a lot of REs. If you wanna see a lot of REs, follow my boy Balin. He, he, check him out, like he has a lot of patches or even EDM, Brandon, Everyday Minimalist. Their patch game is hella strong. My patch game is super weak, but a lot of room, a lot of space to put some of your favorite stuff. Really easy to remove patches and put them on. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So last thing to keep in mind, the water sliders are 60 bucks, $60. Like I said, it's been a while since I've bought a pouch. So therefore I'm kind of out of touch with what the prices look like. $60 for me seems like a fair price for something like this. The quality is there. There's enough room to put a lot of your favorite gear in here and it's really damn fashionable. I went on the super secret club link and I picked up this one in camo and then I picked up this other one in midnight camo and I like them. I think it's cool. I think they're bringing their own flair to the pouch game and that's awesome. So for me, it's worth $60, but like I said, they're super limited. So if you want to score one of these, the way that I did it was I signed up for their email list 
they have a link and it's a super secret club link. Keep that link in your bookmarks. So that way when they send an email telling you that there's a drop, you can click that link and pick some of them up. I highly recommend it. Really good quality pouch. I picked up two because of that. And maybe I'll pick up more. Who knows? If they do some exclusive in leather, I would love to see that. Data crew, if you're listening to me, leather, please and thank you. Maybe like a brown. Yes, please. So that is it, guys. That is a quick little overview on the Water Slider by Data Crew. Let me know what you guys think of this style of video. Should I do more pouch videos? Should I do like pouch hauls? I don't know if that's even a thing. I'm a newbie when it comes to the pouch game, so be easy on me down in the comments. Give me give me love and, and tenderness. Don't 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 roast me down in the comments. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next video.